Welcome to a new episode of my Linux driver tutorials. So last time we have implemented a hello world device tree device driver for Linux. And today I want to expand this driver. So if you are remembering the device tree overlay we have used for our last video, we have added the device my device to the root path of our device tree. And we have two custom properties here. So the string variable and this integer variable. And in today's video, I want to show you how we can read out these device tree properties passed to our device within our drivers. But before we start doing so, I have to give myself a little correction here. So here, so for the device tree, there is a device tree specification. You can find the specification on devicetree.org. I will put a link into the description down below. And if we take a brief look at the specification, we can see here under the device tree, we have a section for the properties. And this tells us how a correct or a specified property should look like. And this sentence here is important. So non-standard property names should specify a unique string prefix such as a stock ticker symbol identifying the name of the company or organization that defined the property. So there are some standard properties which are listed just in the next section. So here we can see some standard properties. A good example is the compatible string, for example, or the model, the P handle the status, and so on and so forth. But we in our device tree overlay, we are using two non-standard um, properties. So normally I shouldn't just tell, give them the property name string var. No, instead I should first give a prefix telling the vendor who introduced this um, property. So in my case, for example, it would be bright light comma and then string var. And th this should be or would be the proper way how to define custom properties. And here is also a hint, as long as you can avoid using custom properties, just go with the defined ones. And so to be able to see the defined ones, I will put a link to the device tree specification in the description down below. But for keeping this tutorial simple, I will violate the device tree specification a little bit here and by not giving them this um, prefix here. But now you know how to make do it right if you want to. Okay, good, then let's start implementing a driver which is able to read in these two properties from the device tree. Okay, therefore I will copy um, our device tree device driver from our last tutorial device tree read property and I will create a new folder here. So what do we have here? We have a make file to compile our device tree overlay and our driver. We have the drivers and the device tree source and we have a readme which gives you some more information about what I'm doing here if you're just viewing this on my GitHub repository. Okay, so let's start implementing or adapting our driver here. First, I need to include, I need the include linux slash property dot h to have a function over which I can, or to have defined all the functions I need for reading out the device tree properties. And I would say I will implement, or I will read out these functions here in the probe function. Therefore, I need some variables. I need a status variable. I need a variable for my int variable, which I will also call int variable. Then I will need a string for the string variable. And to make my life a little bit easier, I will define a pointer from the type struct device, which is representing our device, and I will call it def. And this pointer points to pdef Dev. So this platform device has a um, field for its device and basically I'm just extracting the pointer so I don't always have to write pdef minus dev here. Yeah, that's the reason. Okay, and before we are reading the properties, we should first check if the properties are available. And for doing so, I will use the function 
device property um, present. The first argument is our dev pointer here. And the second um, argument is the name of the property we want to test. So this is integer variable here. And now this function returns a one if the property is present and a zero if this property is not present in our device tree property. So in case this returns zero, I will print out an error. Int var property is not present. And I will return with minus one here. Okay, and let's do the same thing for our string var. And yep. And in case this returns zero again, this property here is not present. Okay, and if our probing function comes this far, we know the int var and the string var properties are present, and the next thing we have to do is we have to read them out. So therefore I will need the function device property read and then I have to declare the data type. So first I want to read out an unsigned 32-bit integer for the integer variable. Then again I have to pass a pointer to my device. Then I have to name the property which I want to read out and the last thing I have to um, yeah, give here is a pointer where to store the read out property. So this function returns zero on success as a negative error code. So let's check if this worked successfully. If not, I will print out an error. Int var property or error reading int var property and I will um, return the negative status code here or error code. But in case this worked, I can now print out my int var. Okay, and now all which is left to do here is I have to do the same thing for the string variable. But here of course I have to use the function device property read string. I want to read out the property string var and I want to save it at the cons pointer string var. In case of an error, I will print out error reading string var property and last but not least, I have to print it out. Okay, so that should be our driver reading out our device tree properties. Let's try to compile and run this. So first, let's see if I made some mistakes here. It's looking good. Now we are compiling our device tree overlay. And what I have now is I have my loadable Linux kernel object and I have my device tree overlay. Good, so let me fire up Tmux. So I can have a second window here. Okay. And in this window, let's first apply the device tree overlay. Now let's load our driver. And we can see the um, init function is called, the probe function is called, and we can read out the integer variable and we can read out the string variable. And just to be sure, let, let us double check if the properties were read out correctly. Yes, the integer variable is one to three. The string variable was hello DT. So reading out the property worked. Okay, great. So I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee and buy me a coffee.com slash for Linux. So thanks for watching and goodbye.